All right. So a lot has happened recently and good things. Uh, my birthday was the 29th. Rhea's birthday was the third. Then we celebrated Rhea's birthday on Saturday, then Mother's Day. Oh, so now every year that's going to be like the holy crap week of the year. of Just like bam, 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 bam. Um, but I wanted to talk about a little bit about what came up for me on my birthday. <clears throat> now, I did a very, all I asked for was to have peace. I wanted the baby and Sean to leave the house, give me four or more hours to just be just be, to reflect, to go internally. And I came back with something that I feel needs to be talked about that I feel like we are not very conscious of, but everyone, men and women, deal with. And this is the fact that I realized I've had to project strength for so long. Um, I was originally very soft, very shy, very um, meek and tender. And through the course of my relationships, being with people who were a lot more hardened than me, I had to harden up. I had to really reinforce the projection of strength and so that they wouldn't walk all over me because if I spoke to them in my kind softness I was not heard I was not taken seriously I was not respected so I had to dig deep I had to reinforce these guards and um, sadly harden myself to be taken seriously even to just be heard and so I'm coming to be, I'm 32 now, and realizing for at least probably half my life now, I have had to project such strength. Not to say that I'm not strong naturally. I had to learn strength because I was very soft. But I'm at the age now of recognizing that I shouldn't need to project strength. It's gonna get really loud. That's inconvenient. <laughs> Anyways, that at 32, after having my daughter, I feel like when you have a child, it almost strips you of certain protection against feeling too deeply. And after the heartache I've experienced, I had a lot of protection up. I had a, a lot of pushing people away and not letting them get close to me. And so realizing that I'm at a space in my life where I want to choose to be soft. I can be strong. I know how to be strong. I can literally, Taurus, I can like stomp my feet into the ground and not be budged if I need to be. But that's the difference is knowing that being strong doesn't have to be a constant. I can choose it when it comes up, when it's necessary, when I feel the need to. But otherwise, why can't I just be soft? Why can't I just be open? and nurturing and loving and all the all the beautiful things that I was told or the world told me were weak and almost useless but realizing I can put down strength and pick it up when it's necessary and be soft and be open and receptive I feel like almost a new chapter is opening where I can accept my softness as strength and that if I need to be strong I can pick up my shield anytime but it's not necessary to hold it up it's it's tiring as fuck to be strong all the time and if you're weeding out the toxic shit in your life the people you know the circumstances the job like whatever is bringing you so much resistance and pain and the need to wear the armor, the need to hold up the shield, weed that shit out because the more you weed it out, the less you have to keep that up. And it is so relaxing. It's so calming to the nervous system to not feel the need to guard yourself constantly. 
So before he comes back around and gets really loud again, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. But do yourself a favor. Weed out the shit that's not serving you, that's causing you to have to put yourself on guard. Softness is strength. You can be strong when you need it, but accept that there's so much more peace mentally, emotionally, and in your nervous system if you just allow yourself to be soft, knowing that you can protect yourself when necessary. That's it.